guys welcome again to Eswakago youtube channel and i want to do this short video to address um, a question i've been receiving about uh, what would happen if you get pregnant or if you get a baby before the process of your green card is over or it is through before i go ahead have you subscribed to my youtube channel do you share this information with other people so that they get to know what to do when where why all right okay um what happens if you get pregnant uh because green card uh duration is not just one year it could be more than a year when they release the green cards outcome for those people who will have won comes may 2022 you have all the way to uh next year 2023 uh for you to process your green card um in between the time things do happen and you might think maybe or you might find yourself uh, you are still helping to procreate and that is good that is nothing wrong with it because simply because you played green card it, it does not mean you have to stop your life life has to go on why would you not um, bring a life to to the earth because you are processing green card it's not even possible because most of the time nobody even most people don't even plan to get a baby. They just find the baby in their stomach. Well, that is what they don't tell you. <laughs> they get information from the baby. You see, the baby trying to project some messages. And that is how they come to realize, oh my God, I'm having another, another human being in me. Okay, maybe that's my story. I'm just uh, saying. Okay, so... You are pregnant and you played green card and this baby definitely will not be in your case because you already submitted the family members that were there by then. Excuse me. In my case, it was the same. I played green card. I had just one baby and in between, I got another baby. Even when they announced green card, between when I played green card and when they released the uh, results in May, I was pregnant. So I didn't even know how to go about it. Uh, thank God I'm here. I can tell you what to, how to go about it. So um, I was directed what to do. And this is what we did. Um, with so much help of that person who helped me to fill green card because he did my everything up to the end and he directed me in so many areas that I couldn't know how to do so that is maybe why I feel like I should also help people to know things that they might not be knowing so that it's not difficult for them okay I was pregnant and I was chosen uh, as a winner and the process was supposed to start and we did uh we didn't start the process until the baby was born because it was just few um i got my baby in september and green cards are announced in may so it was just four months so before we know where to get this money to start the processes i had the baby in september at the beginning of september and we started uh, by getting her a passport so that we can set in her documents to the uh, consular to explain that we now have a baby and this is the passport number of the baby and this, these are the names of the baby, the birth certificate and everything. So you have to get a, pas a passport for the baby, a birth certificate must be there. Uh, you have to make a copy or scan a copy and the same thing to uh, passport uh, document and Another thing you need to send is the names of the baby Of course the baby doesn't have an ID You just need them the names of the baby and take them a photograph. That is the passport um, 
take them a nice uh, passport and also don't forget to put a white background for them so that uh, the passport will have the the passport photo will have the right uh, requirements and then you will send the info through to them to tell them and never ever forget to include your case number okay when you get selected for a green card winner they will also provide you with the case number and this number is the number that determines how long you can wait before they call or before they get to your case so that case number is you now that is how they identify you so get your baby a uh, passport document number and get them a birth certificate and the passport and then send in scan those over and send them um, the info telling them you now have an addition in your family in your case and it is your baby of course the baby will have the the birth certificate will have your name it, it will be showing your full name that is why you are told write your names the way they are supposed to be and write your names in full when you are applying for green card so you cannot write wajiro for shiro no it has to be one zero be so that when they uh, look they compare uh the birth certificate of the kid and yours your names they will see the exact names that are on your birth certificate is the exact names that appear on that uh birth certificate of the child as the mother and the father the same thing uh when i did that she was added to my case because they will add the baby to the case to your case and surprisingly even when i went for the appointment of the visa interview they didn't ask me a zero question about the baby they never why because the names on the birth certificate can show clearly i am the mother and this is the dad of the child because his names and the names on the birth they are reading the same so um that is very important you need to make sure uh, you submit the paperwork for the baby so that the baby can be added on your case. Okay, what else do I need to say? Um, I told you I, they didn't ask me anything about the baby because the evidence is enough. So provide enough evidence. Make sure you include the birth certificate of the baby. And the birth certificate has the names of the mother written exactly how your names reads. And the names of the dad written exactly how you wrote them when you were applying for the green card. So that when they compare notes, they see clearly this is the baby, this is their baby. It is nothing. They won't even ask you for a DNA. They didn't ask me for a DNA because uh, the birth certificate is enough proof because it is a document uh, from the government. So I believe that is why they believe a birth certificate should be trusted because it is a document that is given by the government. Okay. And maybe there is a way they can verify them. I don't know that one. I cannot tell, but I feel like there is a way they can always verify them so don't you worry if you get pregnant and by then you wouldn't have had a child that too should not worry you nobody will ask you why you are coming to america with a big tummy or why you are you are being pregnant and you are traveling nobody will ask you a thing in fact you will come here and you will get the baby here and it is not questionable feel free to get pregnant Feel free to get a baby if you want to. Nobody will uh, get into that. That's your personal life. And life must go on. Procreation must go on too. Yeah? So do not worry. And everything will be good. There is nothing, uh, no problem I can tell you will arise. As long as you have the right documentations uh, to support your case. And of course it is your baby. There is no way you can just go and uh, take someone's baby and come and act like the baby is yours because that way you won't have enough evidence and in case they might think of asking you for a dna you will have failed terribly so i know nobody would ever think of doing that but people are people they can try it but in case they get uh, some suspicion they get suspicious they might ask you for a dna and that is where 
you and your whole family case will be closed and you will never come to America because you will never again be able to go back to that embassy to claim anything. That is how you and them, they will do like this. And then you'll be like, bye-bye until uh, the next life. Okay? So, get your baby. Get pregnant if you want. If you had planned, you're going to get a baby in 2021 or 2022. Just go ahead and do it. Nobody will question you. That is your life. Life has to go on. So, why don't I see you on the next video, guys? May God keep you. And don't ever forget to keep on keeping on. Alright, I'll see you next on the video.